So obviously, I'm a magician. I think that's the third best thing about me. The second being my hygiene. The first being the fact that I'm not an arsonist. I got my start at children's birthday parties. I'd say clever things like, hey kids, which hand holds the shrimp? Wrong, you're all flawed human beings. They all loved me, though not everyone has been so enamored with my act. Uh, for instance, and this is a true story, after one show, a woman walked up to me and said, you're rather socially awkward on stage. Do you have Asperger's? And I thought that was a strange question to ask, because that's usually my pickup line. <laughs> now that the persona has been established, we can proceed with a rather disappointing miracle that requires the assistance of a member of the audience. If you, sir, would mind joining me on stage, let's have a round of applause for him as he makes his way out. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming up here. If you wouldn't mind just standing here. No one likes to be summoned from the crowd to assist a magician, so I do appreciate it. This trick requires a very special prop, which I keep in a very special place. My pocket. <laughs> now, I know you were expecting me to pull something out of your ear, but in fact, I did the opposite. I put something in. You'll discover in about a week's time <laughs> when it hatches. <laughs> Magicians are terrible at dating, so we need some mechanism by which to pass on our genes. <laughs> Who knew that magicians reproduced in the same manner as the African bot fly? The real secrets of magic revealed. <laughs> we have here a rather unusual deck of cards, blank but for a list of my favorite things. I'll rattle some of them off. We have here waffles, beans, liver, lint, wood chips, doorknobs, bleach, pollen, the usual suspects. The important point is that they're all distinct. There are no duplicates among them. I actually have a compelling theatrical motivation for having these, uh, but I'm gonna skip that because nobody cares. <laughs> we require one of these uh, cards to be picked, one item to be picked, so as I run my thumb down the side of the uh, deck, please just say stop anytime. Stop. Here? Yep. Please hold out your palm up, I will deal, deal you that card, and please cup your other hand beneath, as if holding water or perhaps bile, my favorite emulsifier, though I don't think I'm alone in that. Notice, by the way, I say water, he cups his hand one way, or bile, there's a slight shift in posture. Say what you will about this guy, but this is a man who understands fluid dynamics. And that is the most important quality a human being can have. So I just want you to know that. We have here a silk handkerchief, the last remaining prop, and I will uh, non-verbally display the fact that it is empty by flinging it several times toward the gentleman. <laughs> now that I've established dominance, <laughs> I will reveal the name of the item selected. And you might not be able to tell this at home, but the mood in this theater is tense. <laughs> Lentils. You picked lentils. Now, earlier I warned that this was going to be a disappointing trick, uh, but even I cannot anticipate the extent. Please keep your hands cuffed, sir, and rivet your attention to the handkerchiefs. Watch. As cascading forth, we find the birth of lentils. Lentils by the billions streaming forward. You may keep this as a token of gratitude uh, for coming up here. Thank you very much for helping me back to your seat. My name is Kyle Eschen. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>